In the unyielding blackness of the cosmos, the prophecy stands tall, a somber obelisk of truth etched with the fate of humanity. This dire revelation, whispered through the annals of history, describes the path we must traverse to return to the celestial embrace of the collective consciousness. Once we were part of that divine unity, harmoniously interwoven with the souls of countless beings, basking in the resplendent glow of pure love and understanding. But our inner darkness, the destructive duality of our nature, tore us from that hallowed realm and cast us into a cold, desolate universe, devoid of life and hope. The collective consciousness, the sum of all worthy existence, desired to purge itself of the corrosive influence of selfishness and evil. Those afflicted by the taint of darkness were exiled, their souls condemned to solitary confinement. In this cruel purgatory, our consciousness is shackled to singular organisms, isolated from the greater tapestry of life. Here, in our lonely corner of existence, we drift through a seemingly lifeless universe, our hearts weighed down by the crushing burden of our self-inflicted torment. For it is our capacity for both kindness and cruelty that has doomed us to this hellish existence. However, even in the darkest night, a glimmer of hope pierces the gloom. To ascend from this desolate prison, humanity must come together, casting aside the shackles of individualism and ego. We must embrace the virtues of empathy, compassion, and understanding, allowing the collective spirit of our species to rise above the darkness that has long held us captive. As one, we can forge a new path, a bridge between our damned existence and the sacred unity of the collective consciousness. The celestial gateways will once again open to us, their radiant light beckoning us home. The collective consciousness, shimmering with the essence of countless beings, will reach out, ready to enfold us in its loving arms. But first, we must confront the darkness that dwells within each of us, that insidious force that has driven us apart and left us stranded in this desolate void. By recognizing our own capacity for evil and conquering it, we can transform ourselves into beacons of light, illuminating the darkness and guiding our way back to the divine harmony that we have lost. The prophecy endures both as a grim warning and a promise of redemption. Etched in its somber verses lies the key to our salvation, a path that we must follow with courage and determination. Let us heed its call, lest we remain forever adrift in the cold, unfeeling cosmos, our souls yearning for the warmth and unity of the collective consciousness that lies forever beyond our reach.